hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Dorshell if you are new and today we have a very exciting video today as you can tell by the title I'll be doing a Bottega Veneta mini loop camera bag review I am so excited because we got a new bag so cheers to that grab you a beverage of choice because this is going to be a good one i'm super excited because i have not seen this bag reviewed on youtube anywhere so i think this might be the first review of the newest mini loop camera bag so i'm very excited i first decided to purchase this bag because i saw it on octavia b's channel i'll link her channel below she did her like luxury wish list and i saw that bag and i was like ooh. I need it like it is so cute I just like her I didn't know what color I wanted so I was like I want to go in store I want to try them out but girl I got this as a Christmas gift so I am very happy about it and it took out all the trouble of me deciding what color I wanted um so I'm very very happy to have this bag and be reviewing this bag so if you guys love this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and without further ado let's get into the video so like i mentioned this bag was a gift and it was purchased at neiman marcus um this is the big box that it came in um it came with a nice little bow so i unwrapped the bow and everything and obviously i opened it already so the bow's not on there anymore but yes i got this as a gift and it was bought at neiman marcus and i'm gonna get into the video later about like the quality of the bag that I received and all that kind of stuff. I'll get into that later in the video. But um, I just wanted to show you guys the box that it came in. It came like this. And there's a little tab. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a little tab and you open it. And this is the bag. And just as, like I said, I'm going to get into all of this later. But the bag was not packaged like this. The dust bag was inside of the bag. And the bag was just like thrown in the box so we'll get into that later but just so you guys know it did not arrive like this the dust bag was inside the bag and the bag was just like plopped on top and the straps were tied in a knot so we'll get into that later but anyway um there's the bow that it was tied in and then this is the tissue paper this is the dust bag this is probably the best quality dust bag i've ever received so it looks like so it has the bottega veneta green lettering and it's in a fleece fabric and it's so thick and nice so i really love that the dust bag is good quality and ah! <laughs> the bottega veneta mini loop camera bag she is stunning like y'all get into it get into the details like she is stunning i i love this bag so this is her i got it in the bar allo color i believe i'm that's how you pronounce it bar allo and it's in this beautiful wine red color and i was in between this color the black and then there's like a bright cherry red color but this is the one that i received and i'm super happy with it because this was also the color that i was in between and i just think it's super unique i do not have a bag in this color and i just I love it. It's so beautiful and beautifully crafted. Just a little bit of specs and info on the bag. We'll get into that first. So again, this is called the Mini Loop Camera Bag. It's a mini bag. This is the smallest size that they hold this bag in. They also have this bag in a small version, and that one is a little bit bigger than this one. This retails for $2,400. And it's a crossbody bag with the intrasado um, weaving. So this is like the intrasado weaving. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is like the Bottega signature. So I love that. Um, it's going to be a memorable and well recognizable bag because of the weaving detail. So that's really nice. Um, and it's also in patent calf skin leather. So real leather. Um, but it's patent so it's treated so I really like that also because sometimes with the like non-treated leathers like it's very sensitive but this one I'm not too worried about like you know wear and tear because it's a patent leather 
and this comes in about seven colors there's like a peachy color a black there's a gray a bright red a dark green and a navy and so really good choices that you can choose for this bag i believe the small version has less colors it's 100 percent calf skin and for size and fit, they said it fits an iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's pretty much about the bag. It has these beautiful gold knob embellishments on the end. And these are super heavy. Like the quality is amazing on this. And the teeth is gold. I love me a gold hardware. So totally up my alley. There is reviews on this bag, but the older version. And the older version does not have the gold knobs. It just has the knot in the leather that bag the pull is like a metal pull this one the pull is leather what drew me to this bag is the fact that it's adjustable so you can basically pull down the the straps to give it a shorter strap length or you can pull it up to increase the strap length and that's one of the main features really drew me to this bag is the fact that there's a lot of adjustability in the strapping detail and you can play around with it the only thing is that there's a knot here i don't know if you guys can see that sorry guys if it's not as clear but there's a knot here and um that prevents the bag from being able to pu be pulled all the way down and i kind of wish the knot wasn't here that way i could make this a uh, underarm bag like i really want the bag to hit me underneath here like i want that as an option but because of these knots i can't pull it shorter so the hack that i've done is i've doubled the strap like this so that it can go underneath my arm like so but you can see that like it doesn't look as nice so I'm going to see if there's a way that this knot can be adjusted so that I can pull it. So I'm going to call the Bottega store and see if there's a way that I can move the knot to give me more adjustability. But that's my little hack of how I could have it hit under my arm. But it is a crossbody. I will show you guys how it looks like on body. And you can kind of adjust the strap. I will say, though, if you're on the taller side and you like your bags to hit on your hip, this might not be the bag for you because it already hits quite high on the shortest setting. But even if you extend it, for me, it hits right above my hip, which I like the shorter crossbody look. Um, but if you're taller you may it may be like too high so just keep that in mind you might want to try it on in store if you're on the taller side but i'm around five six and it fits me fine like i love how it hits me on the shortest length the longest length fits fine too especially over jackets and stuff i think that the strap length is perfect for me but yes yeah, so this is how the bag looks like and that's the weaving pattern really really pretty okay so when you open the bag it's just one way to get into the bag and my bag came with tissue paper and then the dust bag was also stuffed inside so when you open it you only get one compartment so no side pockets no slip pockets no nothing it's just open and the lining is actually like the same material as the outer weaving and I wish that they would have lined it although the inside is beautiful because you can see the weaving I do wish they lined it in like leather or something so that you know I feel like I would have got more bang for my buck and I think the original version the first version of this is lined with like a smooth leather and I think I would have preferred that just to make the bag more durable but um, the weaving is beautiful and then also inside is their little care card I don't know if this would be considered a care card or an authenticity card um, but it also comes with a little envelope and for what it's worth this material like the stitching detail and everything is very sublime and it has like your wear and care instructions and then it has it in all the different languages and then at the bottom there's kind of like the serial number again I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a little serial number on the bottom so I don't know if that's like the authenticity like serial number for this or it's just a simply a care card but anyway that came inside the bag as well and like I said nothing really to it you just get all space which I like because that means I can stuff this bag with everything that I need to stuff it in and um, I don't have to worry about any barriers and stuff Have you guys seen my YSL small Lulu I'll put the video in the cards if you guys watch that vlog know that with the different compartments it just limited the amount of space that could 
you can put things in but with this bag you have all the space you need to play with the opening though is a little bit narrower than what you have to play with in the depth of the bag so it might be hard to get things in and out especially larger things but i think for what it's worth especially for a mini bag you can fit a lot like some bags are very small and I'll see if I can compare this to my BB wallet on chain like some bags are just too tight that you can't fit a lot of things in but this one you can fit the a good amount of things in but like yes like I mentioned just to get into more of the details you guys can see the weaving pattern which is beautiful the little knobs on the end the zipper pull that also has the gold um, tip on it the gold teeth and then the leather pull so very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, very beautiful bag. I feel like it's going to be very durable. I think it's going to last me a long time. It is very timeless. Like I feel like I can wear this now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. It's such a timeless bag. I love the color. It's extremely unique. And um, I just think it's a very, very beautiful bag. And just like, if you know, you know. You know what I mean? It's like the, that kind of a bag. So I absolutely love it. Um, so now I'm going to get into my experience of getting this bag from Neiman Marcus. Like I said, it was a gift, so I didn't purchase it myself. I didn't go on the site and get it. I didn't go in store, but it was purchased online. So when I received the bag, like I mentioned earlier, it literally was just like in the bag like this. And the straps were tied in a knot. Like it was tied in a knot, the straps. And I felt like that was really weird. Like that was my first red flag. Like I was like, okay, maybe it came that way. But then I watched a video of someone who got a bag from New Marcus, um, the old version of this one. And her bag was like wrapped in plastic. It was, it was inside the dust bag where this bag, the dust bag was inside, which meant that there was no protection for the bag. It was just thrown in the box. And that was like the first red flag. Um, but when I took out the bag on the bottom, and I don't think you guys can see anymore because I tried my best to remove it, on the bottom it was like this sticky white substance and it wasn't all over the bottom but it was like in certain select places. So I ended up contacting Neiman Marcus and telling them about the issue. I called the Short Hill um, location in Jersey. Um, there's a Neiman Marcus there and I called them like three times left my information for them to call me back because there was no associates available and they never called me back all those times I've left my information they never called me back so he finally called like the actual hotline um, for Neiman Marcus and spoke to a lady and she basically said she could give us a $350 refund um, again, this bag was $2,400 and so she said she can give us $350 back for the inconvenience of there being like markings on the bottom and not being like a fresh bag. So my assumption is that this was a display bag or someone already wore it or something, which obviously we don't love, okay? So I, so my option was to get the $350 refund or to exchange this bag. But the thing is, this bag, from what the lady told me, is discontinued. This colorway is discontinued. I don't know if that's true. I checked on the Bottega site and it says, like, notify me. So it's sold out on Bottega site. It's sold out at Neiman Marcus. And she said it was discontinued. So I'm going to call Bottega and I'll put it on the screen if it's actually discontinued or if they're planning on restocking. But basically, you cannot get this bag in this color anymore. And so I could have exchanged it for a different color. But I thought that this color was just super rare. Like it just felt like super special, especially since it's sold out and might be discontinued. I didn't want to give up this color. So I decided to keep the bag and then take the $350 refund. However, when I did more inspection after receiving the refund, I realized that, and I don't know if you guys can tell, I really hope you can. I don't know if you will be able to because like I said, my focus is not good. But I realized that the leather is peeling on the strap. Like it's literally peeling off and you can kind of see the leather underneath the patent finish. And had I known that, I would have been like, oh baby, no, I need like $500 back. So I'm gonna try and call them again and tell them like I found another imperfection. Can, is there anything they can do about it? And there's just like little things about it that I'm not happy about. So for that reason, I would never purchase an item full price from Neiman Marcus, especially on their online. It just makes the experience not as great. But I do absolutely love this bag and I love the color. So I'm gonna keep it because 
I, I just feel special having it. I'm gonna call them again and see if they can do anything about the leather peeling because I did not see that the first time. But um, I did do my best to take off the sticky substance on the bottom. And aside from that, everything else seems to be okay. It would have been nice to get like a nice fresh bag and the packaging and that experience but it is what it is because that was going to be my other option i was just going to return it and then buy this bag again from bottega the flagship store and just ask them about like you know if there's ways to adjust this like i kind of wanted to go in store and ask certain questions but because they're sold out in this color i'm just gonna have to deal with this one but like i said it, the bag is still the bag <laughs> it's still authentic it's still the real deal um it's just like those little imperfections but i think this bag is gonna age well too because even some of the patent leather it's a little crinkly but it's just like the nature of the bag it's gonna age well i have a feeling it's gonna really age well so aside from that negativity through neiman marcus the bag is still very gorgeous it's very nice it's very versatile i'm definitely going to be wearing it for the fall winter months um but they have beautiful colors that'll be great for spring summer also and i just think ugh, it's just stunning <laughs> okay so now in this portion of the video i'm going to show you guys what fits in this bag i have a few things some of my essentials that i carry and we're going to see if it fits i'm going to try it with a large object so i have this portable fan so let's see if that fits okay so this does not fit in the bag even if you try to do it diagonally or what you have it it just it just it just don't fit so a portable fan of this size is not gonna fit in the bag. Um, they said an iPhone 15 Pro can fit in this bag, but I have the iPhone 14. And let's see, it definitely fits. It's a little bit tough to get in there, but it, it does fit. So I think if you do have a larger phone, I don't know, they said the 15 Pro can fit in here. I don't know about that, cause this like just fits, but that's what they said, so. That fits fine. Have my YSL card holder, and that fits very comfortably in there. Have some hand sanitizer, a Laneige lip sleeping mask. I have a Bath and Body Works hand cream in the scent Champagne Toast fits perfect and then lastly I'm gonna try to put in this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc um, shimmering body oil and that fits in there too it's getting very stuffed in here like very very stuffed but all these things fit <laughs> but it you are gonna have to take out some stuff if you're wanting to get deeper down inside. And even with all these stuff in there, there's still a few more, like you could put another lip gloss in here, a powder, like there's still a good amount of space. And so when you close it, this is how it looks like stuffed. You can, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the leather is kind of weighing down. And they did say that not to put too much heavy stuff in it, cause it's gonna reshape the bag. So all the things I put in here, although they do fit, I would not carry all these stuff in it because it's really weighing down the bag so you just want to be careful that you're not putting super heavy things in there um because it will weigh down the bag i can already see that it's weighing another reason why i wish they lined it in leather because um that would have helped like the bag is itself what is what the bag is lined with well let me just say the bag is not lined on the website it says it's lined with 100 percent leather but it's not lined um, the weaving is the same thing on the outside so there's really no socket for everything to be held in it's just the bag itself so they really should have lined it that way you could hold more things in it it'll be more durable I don't know where it is now but I have my Sony ZV-1 camera and that can absolutely fit in here comfortably I also have the DJI Pocket 3 camera and that can fit in here perfectly too I don't have them here but those can fit in here perfectly too so this bag can hold a lot of items as you guys can see all the things that I put in it can hold a lot of items in so that's a pro but the con about it is that you don't want it to be too heavy because it's definitely going to weigh down the bag and like the weaving pattern is going to poke down so like if it's a lot but you don't want it to be heavy so it kind of is a contradiction but 
Anyway, it holds a lot of things and I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna go over my last pros and cons of this bag. So the pros of this bag is that, again, it is a very timeless, beautiful bag. If you were able to snag this Bar Allo color, you might be a lucky one because it may be a rare bag. Um, so I really, really love the color. The quality is amazing. The leather is beautiful. Um, these gold knobs are very heavy, so it's a well-crafted, beautiful bag. It also offers adjustability, and if this can move too, it's giving you a lot of options on ways to wear the bag, and I think that's amazing. You can get your cost per wear and a lot more bang for your buck when you have multiple ways that you can wear the bag. So I really, really love that this bag is versatile. It's classic. It's beautiful, well-crafted, like stunning, very stunning bag. The cons I would say about it, though, is the, this knot here. Like I said, I wish it was higher so you can get even more adjustability or the straps could be completely removed so you can wear it like a clutch that would have been amazing um again it's non it's not lined so i would have preferred this bag to be lined i think it's for the price point it should have definitely been lined and like i said i think the original version of this is lined on the inside and this should have i don't i don't know why they changed that that's kind of about it like those are the only two things i would say it's a con so i think it's a really great investment i think it's a beautiful bag um, it's very, very stunning. Right now, I really want to get the first version of this bag in gold. I'll put it here, how it looks like. It is stunning, okay? That bag is stunning. Um, obviously, less places to wear it because it's more of like a dressier bag, but that is a bag that I would purchase from Bottega. The other Bottega bag I have my eye on is the Bottega Andiamo bag, the small Andiamo, and like the sage kind of green color. I think it's gorgeous. I also think that bag is gorgeous in the black, so I would definitely purchase that bag also because this is very pretty. Um, definitely a higher price point, but very pretty. And then I'm also thinking about the stretch sandal. They also came up with a new sandal, which is I think the knot sandal, which would go perfect with my bag, but they do look very uncomfortable with the thin strap in the front. So I'll put those here on the side also so you guys can see some of the other things that I'm thinking about getting from Bottega because this bag is just so luscious and amazing. Um, they do also tell you to stuff this bag um, to keep it shaped, stuff it with tissue paper. So I have to find more tissue paper to stuff it with because they stuffed it with the dust bag. So it's still a little roomy on top. So I need to find some tissue paper just to like fully stuff the bag so it keeps its nice pretty shape. I wanted to compare this to my um, BB Wallet on Chain really quickly. Let me know if you guys want a in-depth review and video on this bag because I don't think this one is on YouTube either. I don't think I've seen a video for it. But as you guys can see, this bag, it's a wallet on chain. So <laughs> this wallet is very thin, so it can't really hold many things. In comparison to the Bottega bag, like you can see, there's a lot more width in it. I think it's like two and a half inches wide versus this one that might be like one and a half inches so as you guys can see you can definitely hold a lot more in this bag versus this bag but let me know if you guys want an in-depth video on this um bag also but yeah um that pretty much concludes the video let me know in the comment section if you guys have any questions about this bag the details anything like that anything i've missed let me know in the comment section below because like i said I think this is the only video on this particular bag so let me know again i got this color i got this in the color bar allo this is the mini size and i'm just very happy with the purchase i'm excited to be wearing it and just outfitting it like this over a pea coat like it's gonna be really really beautiful so i love this bag so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding this beauty um if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up as that helps with growing my channel let me know if you guys want a luxury wish list let me know what videos you guys are looking for do not forget to subscribe if you've made it thus far definitely subscribe for more um video reviews because this will not be my last one so if you guys are looking for more luxury purchases or anything of that nature i do travel vlogs um hauls i, I do it all so <laughs> make sure you guys are subscribing so you guys do not miss out on any future videos but again thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one bye Thank you.